What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today I'll be talking about the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare game. And yes, I do know, I haven't even played the game yet, or haven't even downloaded the beta at all because I haven't even pre-ordered the game. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be saying, like, well, well, Joe, how can you criticize a game if you haven't even fucking played it? Well, huh, let me check. I've been playing the Call of Duty franchise for the past six years. I remember in Black Ops 4, I used to be ranked in the top 20s for both domination and the team deathmatch in the whole world. And also in Modern Warfare 3, I took a clan to rank 50 in the whole world. Huh. Yeah, I guess I do have a right to say something about this fucking game. So anyways, the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare game doesn't look good at all. I mean, this is, I'm surprised it's, it's, it's even a freaking PS4 game. It looks like a freaking, you know how Black Ops 3 came out for the PS3 and the Xbox 360? That's how Infinite Warfare fucking looks from here. Like, I have my freaking computer on the highest settings, on the highest definition, and I watch somebody else's gameplay, which is from Fist of Cuffs, and it looks like shit. <laughs> to be honest, it looks like shit. Black Ops 3, it looks kind of like a decent shit, but this one looks like total shit. And then, also... You know, watching this guy play the game, he was like, oh, the weapons don't have recoil, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, they are going to add the recoil later on. If you guys do not know what recoil is, it's the thing that makes the gun shake. You know, every time you shoot, it's going to be like the gun's going to be going up or sideways or whatever, and it's going to make you miss your targets. Well, that's going to be increased after the patch. That's how I know the game is going to start to suck because they did the same thing with Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, and Modern Warfare 3, kind of. They took out the FAD and several other weapons, the AK-47 on Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 2, they freaking nerfed the PDW, MSMC, uh, Scorpion Evo, and Vector. You know, they, they nerfed several of the fucking guns. And then on Black Ops 3, they nerfed a lot of the SMGs too and the assault rifles. And that's exactly what's going to go on with Infinite Warfare, but worse. The reason why I say worse is because there are supply drops. And also, each default weapon has three levels. So... They have like a rare and a super rare or whatever the fuck it is. And then, you know, if you're playing with a default weapon, I'm pretty sure they can increase the recoil of it, making you miss even more with the default weapon. So that's going to kind of make you think like, I got to buy some supply drops in order for me to unlock the super rare weapons. And there you go, spending. You see, that's how the, I know the game's going to fucking suck balls because now you got to spend in order for you to win. It's a pay to win game. That's what it is. But yet we got stupid people buying the game and saying like no i'm gonna fucking play because of call of duty 4 and that's another problem the community is gonna be fucking killing themselves in the foot because you're giving money to activision for fucking you know giving you a bad game along with a good game and the good game only costs 15 bucks on ps3 or even less if you buy it from a pawn shop like really <laughs> really people i don't even know what's going on anymore but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say people are fucking stupid in the Call of Duty community and also at the same time Infinite Warfare is gonna suck ass just look just watch people just watch after one month a lot of the people who are playing Infinite Warfare are gonna stop playing and move on to something else I mean there's Battlefield 1 coming out there's also uh, Titanfall 2 coming out and you think a lot of people are gonna stick around for Infinite Warfare Man, those lobbies are going to be empty as fuck, I'm telling you right now. And then also, Call of Duty 4 is out. A lot of those people who actually spent 80 bucks on a $15 game, I mean, who are fucking incredibly stupid, are going to be staying in Call of Duty 4. You don't are ever going to see them in Infinite Warfare at all. So, the game is going to be dead after launch. Maybe they just I'll give it three weeks before people are going to be saying like, oh, the lobbies are dead. The game is dead. Let's all play Call of Duty 4. Blah, blah, blah. And that's what's going to happen. The game is going to be dead on arrival. Mark my words, people. The game is no good. The game is going to suck. The lobbies are going to suck. There's going to be so much lag because, you know, you're trying to like to go into the lobby and they're going to connect with somebody like from across the fucking world because nobody in Texas is playing with you or nobody in Mississippi or nobody in Florida or nobody in California. You're playing in California. They're going to connect to someone from, from New York and shit. Like, and then also they, they match you by skill. That's another fucking problem. So, it's going to be super laggy as fuck. So, that's my opinion about Infinite Warfare, people. I haven't even played it. But from what I can tell you, after playing all these years, this game is going to suck after three weeks. It is. That's my opinion about this game. If you guys got your own opinion, please leave it in the comment section. If you guys already rented the game or already you know, have the, the Infinite Warfare beta playing in your PS4, then tell me how the game is. 
I'm pretty sure you're going to be positive about it, but once the game goes down after the full release, I'm telling you, the game is going to be dead. So that is it. Make sure you subscribe for more. You guys want to see. Also, Battlefield 1 is around the corner, guys. So there's going to be more Battlefield 1 coming up later on in the week. So that is it, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more. You guys want to see more games.